Kyle, first of all, you're coming back from injury. How good does it feel to come back and then get a goal in your first game back as well? Uh, yeah, that's great. Um, of course, it's always great to score, but especially when you come back from from injury and you was, you was in good form before, you kind of you want to get back into that form as quick as possible. So, yeah, great to get back on the pitch with a market of a goal. A lot of players up on top in form right now with Conway scoring, Toomey scoring. So. How good is it for a lot of players to be scoring for that healthy competition within the team on up and top? Yeah, it's great and, and so we're versatile as well. Um, so yeah, I mean it's great for the team first and foremost because we're winning games and, and I guess like the boys look around and they know there's goals in the team, so it's great for the management as well. So yeah, we keep pushing each other and it's great competition. And then more away games and home games left in the season. How are you preparing mentally for for that to come in the next coming weeks? Um, uh, to be honest, just just getting on with it, just just taking every game as it comes, not looking at all the away trips, just looking at uh, the game tomorrow night, and then we, we travel after that, um, and just try and you know just just be ready for each game and and, and, and plan and prepare for each game as as, 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 it, as we need to. What's the next celebration coming for the next goal? Ah, uh, good question. I've not I've not really done any uh, my trademark ones. I'll probably get back to the Rick Fair, I think, or maybe I, I might mix it up. All right, sounds good. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Stoneman, back to back games with the goal. Um, what do you feel is going great for you right now in the last couple of games? Um, I think we're just, as a team, we're just focused on our set pieces right now because we know those can kind of win games. So um, I know we're all just getting good opportunities in the box. You saw a few chances in Orange County from different guys and even against San Antonio, other guys had big chances. So I was kind of just in the right place at the right time, just trying to help the team. And I think it shows that we've really been working on our set pieces and I think we hope we could keep in some more goals on set pieces. Yeah, and then great performance from you against San Antonio, who is arguably one of the best teams in the league, keeping that clean sheet as well. What's the conversation with Landon when he speaks to you after a game like that? Uh, it's, it's, really, it's really like a team thing. I like to think of when we get a shutout, it's not just the back line, it's not just the forwards or the goalie, it's kind of just everybody. I think our press was really good. Um, I thought that once we got in our shape, we were stepping with runners, we were following men, and we I think we gave up like two chances one bigger than the other but when you're playing good defense like that I think that gives us a really good chance to win because we know with our attacking power we can we're gonna score so our, a lot of our the time we just want to keep as little goals or zero goals in the back so it's really just big and the, the more we can keep zeros or just low amount of goals we know we're gonna get some good uh, good results our way and we just keep hope to keep it going and then a lot of away games left in the season more than home games how's the team getting ready for all that yeah, I know um, we're going to miss Torero because the fans are amazing. They help us so much. So um, I think we're just trying to take each game um, one foot in front of the other and prepare really well. And when the time comes, we just need to show up. And I know we've had some tough results on the road this year. So I think we just keep those in the back of our mind and we hope to just really perform well and finish the year out pretty strong. All right, Landon, obviously you have a lot of players that are playing at a top form right now so how tough is it for you to maybe come up with the best starting 11 uh, week in and week out it's not hard to come up with an 11 because whoever we put on the field is performing so um, when you play in a three game week you have a whole option of guys you know you can trust and put into games to help you succeed so it's a good thing um, good problem to have is that we have a lot of guys who are performing well so we know that when they get their chance on the field they perform they make my job hard so that the next time it's it's harder decisions for me and right now you're coming down to the last stretch of the regular season are you is the team where you expected them to be at obviously uh highest in goal so is that somewhere you expected the team at the beginning of the season i expected us to be making the progress we're making up to this point um probably where we should be in the table given that we've given up some late leads that have dropped points um, as we continue to get better in that point uh, that part of the game we'll, we'll keep collecting points so as far as the progress and the performances yeah this is where I expected us to be can't always predict that you're going to score that many goals um, a lot of it's dependent on the players putting the ball in the net but I think where we are as a team is where I expected us to be and this next question is coming from your buddy Allen mm -hmm. uh, he's asking how's the team working on bringing the home intensity on the road for this weekend well, we have a, a phrase that we live by when we go on the road, and that's play like the home team. So when we're at Torero, it's easy because all the energy is brought by our fans, our crowd, our players. When we go on the road, sometimes the environments aren't as, well, they're never as boisterous as it is at Torero, but our mentality is we go there and we play like the home team, meaning we dominate the game and we make the game look the way we want to. doesn't mean we always win, but that's our mindset. So whether we're home or on the road doesn't matter to us. We've got... Um, and we picked up 16 points on the road this year. 
which has to be near the top of the league. And the reason why is because we go there and play like the home team. And I noticed you like to spend time with the youngsters at the end of practice. How important is it to you to spend those few minutes or however much time you spend with them at the end of practices? Before I started this role, I thought that youth development was about whether or not the players were going to develop on their own and get better and better. What I'm realizing now is that we have a huge impact on how well they develop and how quickly they develop. So the more time we spend with them, the better they get. And it's important to us as an organization that we take time and do that. It's exhausting, right? After a training session, uh, your energy is pretty sapped, but giving guys 10 or 15 minutes of individual specific attention has really helped them grow. Thank you.